újabb mérföldkő az űrkutatás magyarú YouTube csatorna történetében. Exkluzív interjút adott nekem a NASA egyik alkalmazottja, aki a legújabb marsjáron dolgozik. Az interjú létrejöttében sokan segítettek, az egész ötlet Bencétől jött, aki egy magyar nézője a csatornának Kaliforniában. Ő személyesen ismeri az interjú alanyunkat, tulajdonképpen ő volt a kapcsolattartó, aki nélkül az egész projekt nem jöhetett volna létre. A kérdéseimet előre le kellett egyeztetni a NASA a kommunikációs részlegével, de miután áldásokat adták a dologra, már sinem voltunk. A fordításban Nándi barátom és az unokatestvérem Marci is közreműködött, hogy egy ilyen fontos eseményt hibátlan fordításban közölhessek veletek. Nagyon hálás vagyok a segítségetekért, amivel hozzájárultatok az űrkutatás magyarul csatorna színvonalas közvetítéséhez. Szemeket az égre, indulunk! Hi, my name is Andrew Plave. I am a systems engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. Uh, I have a few questions to answer. Let's see. So I started at JPL in uh, August of 2017, so just a little under four years now. When I started at JPL, um, I worked on Mir the MIR, Mars Exploration Rover, uh, which was called Opportunity. And then I also worked on the MSL, uh, Mars Science Laboratory, uh, which is called Curiosity. I worked on those for uh, a while, and then um, now I work on the Mars 2020 Perseverance Rover. So I was always very science and math oriented. Uh, I loved physics. Um, and in high school, actually, I had an opportunity to do a job shadow with one of my cousins working at uh, NASA's Kennedy Space Center working on uh, lunar excavation projects. And I thought that was just the coolest thing ever. So I, I knew then that I wanted to pursue a path in engineering. Um, and I went, to, I went to the University of Michigan School of Engineering Um, and when I got there, uh, it was 2012, and Curiosity had just landed on Mars. And so uh, once I saw some of those pictures coming down, that sealed the deal that I, I needed to work uh, for JPL. Uh, so I started on M2020 uh, doing flight software work. Um, a couple of years ago, I think probably three years ago, um, and now I'm shifted into a fully operations uh, job. So uh, <clears throat> my job is, is called the Tactical Downlink Lead. Uh, it basically, it's my job to lead a, a group of engineers in assessing all of the data that comes back down uh, to Earth from the rover. Um, well, it was a little bit emotional. It was, it was kind of surreal because this is the, to have something that you've worked on launch into space and land on another planet is, you can't really put that into words, but um, I remember it being very surreal. Uh, we watched the launch, me and my wife, uh, we watched the launch on TV because we weren't allowed to actually go do the pandemic. Uh, so we had to, we were forced to watch it from home, but it was, it was a very surreal moment. When the rover landed, uh, I was actually uh, scheduled on shift for operations that night. Uh, so as you can imagine, when the rover is like a new baby. Uh, it needs to be constantly watched all the time, make sure it's all, all good and okay and healthy. Um, with so much money and science riding on this rover and this mission, uh, the first couple weeks we were just monitoring around the clock uh, with operations, just uh, every piece of data coming in, we assessed uh, as soon as we got it. So when it landed, I was, um, I went into sh to, to lab that night. So uh, NASA uh, Jet Propulsion Lab 
has done this before with MSL's Curiosity. They did the same uh, type of entry and descent and landing. Um, but I was still a little bit worried. Um, we've got a lot of people, uh, and a lot of science, and a lot of money riding on this project. So obviously there are some nerves going into that. But when I saw uh, everything execute flawlessly, I, I was elated. I was super happy. Um, obviously everyone at JPL was, was really excited. Um, we didn't meet up in person. Uh, anyone who didn't need to be on lab didn't meet up in person, but um, <clears throat> we did have uh, our virtual meetings and virtual parties and everyone was celebrating. Uh, President Biden actually did call and congratulate the team on a successful landing and it, it couldn't have happened at a better time for uh, with everything going on with the pandemic to get a big win uh, for science like this. So Perseverance main goal is to seek signs of ancient life. Um, so I'm really interested to see uh, the sample caching system. So what the rover is there to do, or one of its main objectives, is to create uh, samples of Martian soil uh, for a future mission to return those samples home. So I'm very interested to see how that all works out. Um, obviously the, uh, the helicopter is a really cool tech demo. So there's a lot of, a lot of really cool uh, science and activities that are up, upcoming. Um, so currently I am full-time Mars 2020 Perseverance Operations. Um, it's pretty much all hands on deck right now. Uh, the rover is in its prime mission. The prime mission for uh, Perseverance is going to last one Martian year. So that's, I think, 687-ish Earth days. Uh, so there's a lot, uh, a lot riding on the success of this mission. Um, so I'll, I'll continue to do operations on Perseverance for the near term. I don't have a final career goal per se. I would very much like to get more involved with robotics. Um, JPL has some really cool, um, innovative uh, robotics projects that they, they work on. So. I, I'd be interested in getting more involved with that. And then future Mars missions uh, that are on deck, I would, I would like to get involved with, uh, especially with more of a development uh, mindset so I could see those things from start to finish. Um, uh, it looks like that is the last question. So thank you so much for having me on to speak a little bit about what we do at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab. Um, and feel free to reach out if you guys have any more questions. Ha tetszett a videó, iratkozz fel, vagy csatlakozz, és legyél te is csatornatag az EXA tartalmakért!